Now to the US and uh, US President Joe Biden is uh, at it again. Instead of doing a Super Bowl interview, he decided to post this video on Twitter, X, blaming companies for shrinking the size of their products. It's Super Bowl Sunday. If you're anything like me, you like to be surrounded by a snack or two while watching the big game. You know, when buying snacks for the game, you might have noticed one thing. Sports drinks bottles are smaller. A bag of chips has fewer chips, but they're still charging it just as much. And as an ice cream lover, what makes me the most angry is that ice cream cartons have actually shrunk in size, but not in price. I've had enough of what they call shrinkflation. It's a ripoff. Some companies are trying to pull a fast one by shrinking the products little by little and hoping you won't notice. Give me a break. The American public is tired of being played for suckers. I'm calling on companies to put a stop to this. Let's make sure businesses do the right thing now. Oh, gosh, he looks so old and frail. He's barely making it through a pre-recorded uh, speech from an auto queue. Uh, and it's complaining there about shrinkflation. I mean, it's Bidenomics that is uh, causing many of the issues in the economy. Um, what do you think? How do you think that will be received? Uh, to me, that doesn't exactly fill you with confidence that he is a virile, healthy, cognitively sound president. No, no, absolutely not. My, my first thought when I saw it, honestly, Rita, was is this one of those deep fake AI things? Have they put words in his mouth? But oh. it, does, it just <laughs> no. seems so improbable. And, and I think that, you know, a lot of Americans, I'm sure, will see it like me. Is this really what we want our president to be focused on right now, the size of a packet of chips? You know, is it really the sort of thing that he should be obsessing over and speaking to the nation about? You know, when, the, when we've got the threat of China looming, we've got this volatile situation in the Middle East, we've got the Ukraine and everything else that's going on. I, I just think that he's, he's, he should be doing something else. But, of course, I guess it really doesn't matter because it's obvious that he's not in control of the White House. And um, the real question is, who is pulling the strings while Biden gets out there and fluffs his lines?